We're here in the city of Pittsburgh. By the way, thank you for hosting us. Incredible city. And I thought I would help out the city of Pittsburgh. So what I did was I went to the city of Pittsburgh's procurement site to see the active bids that they had on. And I'm just gonna drop this half a million dollar project that anybody in this room can pick up. If you're a consultant in the room, a developer, so what I did is I went to the procurement site of the city of Pittsburgh. I, I, I typed in city of Pittsburgh and I put in procurement and then looked at some of the open bids. And I noticed that the Bureau of Police had a opening, online police reporting solution. Perfect. And by the way, we still have time. It's due on October 16th. And if uh, Matthew from procurement is here, by the way, you're going to get a ton of emails after this. Uh, just letting you know. So what I did is I took OpenAI's new model called Strawberry. It's a reasoning model. I put this into ChatGPT's new model and I said, not only create me an RFP, but also give me a prompt where I can recreate this portal right away. So what it did, it gave me a prompt right away. Then I went to another AI tool called Versal, which you can deploy portals, websites, apps immediately through prompts. I say, design this website using uh, Tailwind CSS. I just dropped in the, the entire um, uh, proposal in there. And then it started to create the code. It started to create the front end page. And it started to create the components of what this portal will look like. So I'm literally creating the pages to this and I've been in the public sector space for a very long time and I can ballpark this to a half a million dollar project that anybody in this room can have. The implications of this are deep. We are entering into a world where you can take a screenshot of any website, of any app, of any, any page and the AI will be able to re-engineer it and reproduce it. We are about to reimagine everything that we know about work. My belief is that because of AI, the end is now the beginning. You don't have to wait to get an output back, a deliverable back. You can actually start with a hundred different AI portals. Like if I was Matthew and I actually put out this RFP, what I would do is say, hey, contractors, developers, consultants. I've already generated a hundred AI portals and I want you to go through the creative process of connecting this with my systems, of making it better, and then you get a final output. The end is now the beginning and we are starting to reimagine everything that we know about work. Not only are we in the screenshot era, but we are entering into the AI agent era. Most of the big tech companies are talking about AI agents today. Some of the sponsors in this room, Oracle, Workday, go talk to them about AI agents. They're excited about this. OpenAI introduced this tool called O01 last week called Strawberry. For the first time in human history, AI can reason. You see those GPTs that we've been using for a couple years, what they're doing is they're predicting the next words. But what this is doing, it's actually solving a puzzle for you. And once you have all your data, it will start to create actions for you. And this is going to be the gateway drug to AI agents. You're going to hear a lot more about this over the next couple of years. And my belief is this, is that there's going to be two types of leaders in the future in the public sector. There will be leaders that leverage AI and there will be leaders that are irrelevant. That's it.